Hey everybody, it's your boy Zero here for another Gunplaw Review. In today's episode, we're going to cover my newest custom build, well, new-ish, the Midas Gundam. This Gundam is made up from the Helios Gundam, the Perfect Strike Freedom, and the Yakushiki. So, if you want to build one of your own or something similar to this, you can, I believe, our friends at Galactic Toys has all the parts. So if you want to try to throw this bad boy together on your own time, or build something similar to it, or build anything, you know, use the link down below, support the channel. Also, I have a new GoFundMe page, so if you want to support the channel, donate, that'd be greatly appreciated. And yeah, so let's get into the review of this custom Gundam, which, yeah... I had some ideas when I was building it, and I'll go into explanation during the review about it, so let's get there. Okay, so this is the Midas Gundam, the main body and the backpack. I'm going to do them separately. Not the backpack so much, because if you've seen my Perfect Strike Gundam, Perfect Strike, yeah, Perfect Strike Freedom Gundam review, it's the same backpack. But, yeah, so let's get that over with quicker, because that's really the quickest thing. This is literally... The same backpack from the Perfect Strike Freedom. So, yeah. Same guns, same everything. I didn't go over this with a marker or paint it. Mostly, to be honest, this was for another custom build I had lying around. So, I actually had a spare of these. So, I threw this one onto the Midas Gundam because it, this the other one of these are attached to one of my other custom builds, the Pendragon Gundam, so, or the Gundam Pendragon, so, I had to spare one of these lying around, I've said, like I said three times already, because I actually did not have a backpack for this dude in the beginning, because the other backpack was being used, the other back of the Yakushiki was being used for the currently unnamed mobile suit, so whenever I do name it, I'll say it, but I haven't figured out the name for it, so, yeah. So, let's go into the the construction of this dude. So, yeah, basically I took the torso of the Helios, painted the white parts gold, as you can clearly see, and some of the red, right, that originally was red, with the shiny gold Gundam marker. So that's why this part's, this was also red, so I painted that gold. And, of course, I left the regular Yakushiki parts the same. So there wasn't really much transformation there. So, thus, the articulation for the legs are the same as it, when it was the Yakushiki. That's the leg all the way up. That's the knee bend. Sidekick. Paralyzed butt flaps still, so you're not getting a lot of movement. The beam sabers go here, if it's not out, same gun, so nothing really changed. Though I was considering removing the stickers on the shoulders for the unnamed mobile suit. So, that was always an option, but like I said before, oh, it actually has a meh ab crunch, but because if you go too far, it will pop out, mostly because the waist of the Helios was incredibly loose to begin with. So, you do get a good lean back situation, but again, I would be careful, so you may want to glue it. If you're doing this, glue it, or in general, if you're building the Helios, glue it, seal it up, paralyze it from the waist down. At least in the waist section. Don't make it move. That's the arm fully bent, which is very disappointing. Oh, never mind, there it is. That's the arm fully bent, much better. Arm all the way out. So, like I said, it's the same posability in the limbs as the original Shikakushiki. Be careful, I may have actually bent the peg in the beam saber for the well, beam saber. So, be careful with that. I've done that lately. I've actually broke a post off another gun plug that's going to be reviewed on Sunday, the gun tank. You'll see when I review it. So, yeah. This is, and 
here it is with the backpack. Actually, with today's episode, I may actually do a combo episode. Because there's not really much left. Downside, due to the weak waist, it can't actually support its weight completely. So, plus side, you don't really need to stand. The backpack does it for you. Support its weight. So, that being said, that's pretty much really all that's to be said about the Midas Gundam. So, for the sake of brevity and make it easy on myself, and not making this a short episode, I'm going to bust out another Gundam. If it were just not fall apart on me in the last minute. Oh, there it is. Mm -hmm. The Revenant Gundam. I built this for the World Championships last year. So I think I've been kind of waiting for an excuse to actually bust this out and review it. But I figured today would be a nice day because we got time and yeah. So this is more of a fully custom build compared to the others, which are just mostly kit bashing. I had built the head mostly from the original Gundam, not the, yeah. The, I think it was a ground Gundam or the Gundam Mark II. Yeah, it was a Gundam Mark II, the AU Gradition. And the Repair Ixir II. So, I custom built the head by taking off parts of the Ixir's head and gluing it actually to the actual sides of the helmet. The back side of the back side of the head, actually. And yes, I did panel line this. And I made the GN drives on the arms red and used the red paint to give it the, the GN lines going down both arms. I used some leftover stickers to make the stickers around the hip thighs. So it does have the same posability in the arms as the, the Ixia did because it is the Ixia Dark the Ixia Dark Matter. The Ixia Repair 2, which I'll re re yeah, review eventually. I painted over the blue parts here with red. Look, I actually repainted the eyes, actually. That eye is red and that eye is yellow. I used the regular sticker here. So you do get... I made sure it had decent posability. Not great. Because of the side skirting in the front, it can't get that leg up too high. But it does have a decent knee bend. Decent side kick. Meh. I have crunch. Heads on the ball joint, so, you know, you can get some poses out of this dude, but not a lot. And it did have the beam shield, but due to me moving around stuff around in my room slash office, it kind of broke, so I may reinvest in making a new shield, but I haven't decided. I was wondering why this seemed floaty. Dropped out. There we go. And that goes back in there. So, yeah. So, we got two Gundams for the price of one. So, yeah. I personally use Gundam markers when I'm painting. Uh, I don't top coat. Mostly because I don't have the space for it. So, I do what I have to, you know, to make things work. Namely... I usually end up repainting stuff that has a lot of easier colors to paint over or colors that can really just darken it up really so you don't really know that it's a color up because unfortunately because of the Midas Gundam you can tell the head is a repaint because it is shiny gold while the Yakushiki body parts are gold injected plastic or yellowish gold plastic while in the Revenant Gundam it's a lot harder to tell that I painted over some of the parts because it looks like, you know, they're supposed to be that color or at least not as obvious. Personally, I do like what I did with the head sculpt. That took some time and a lot of glue and some glue. 
And because my hand shakes when I get nervous or when I'm doing detail work, it was a pain to set up those points on each side of the ears. Well, where the ears would be. So let's just wrap up this review and call it a day. So, like I said in the beginning of the video, the Midas Gundam was built with Yakushiki, the Perfect Strike Freedom, and the Helios Gundam, while the Revenant Gundam was built with the Gundam Mark II, I believe, and the Ixir Repair II. Both high grades, so... I also, I failed to mention, I also had to trim some of the waist internally. I think it was the poly cap. I trimmed it so it could fit into the weight, into the ab section, if you would want to call it that, of the Ixia. So, it does take a little bit more detail work if you want to do something like the Revenant, but if you want something simple and quick, the Midas Gundam, excuse me, is an easier build. You're in, you're out, you know. You switch some limbs, you throw on a new backpack, you got a whole new dude. So, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next episode, which will be the gun tank. And, I don't know what Friday's episode is going to be. I'll figure that out. Maybe the unnamed Gundam. Or, technically I don't think I would call it a Gundam. Random unit? I don't know. But thanks for watching. Uh... Subscribe, comment, like, hit that bell for notifications. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys next week. Peace.